Hey Siri, remind me to upload this video today. Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So today I want to share with you guys how to use Apple Reminders in iOS 15 with your iPhone 13 mini. But before we start this video, it would be really cool if you guys could give this video a thumbs up because it will help the video and the channel as well. So one of my favorite ways of using Apple Reminders in iOS 15 with my iPhone 13 mini is using it with Siri. So because using it with Siri is just so much more efficient than most people would think and it's a really cool way just to add reminders of course to your iPhone 13 mini. So you could pretty much just say hey dingus um, remind me to add uh, bananas to the food list. So another way I really enjoy using Apple Reminders is using it with Time Reminders. I use this feature a ton with Apple Reminders because it's a great way just to be reminded at something that you want to be reminded at at a certain time. So you can set it up early, early in the day or any time of the day, of course, whenever you need to be reminded about. At a certain time, that reminder will pop up on your lock screen so that you can see um, you, what you need to be reminded about at that certain time so that you don't forget uh, what you need to be reminded about. So yeah, it's just a really neat feature that I really enjoy using time tracking with. Location reminders are a really cool way to use Apple reminders in iOS 15 on your iPhone 13 mini. So how location reminders works is pretty simple. So what this allows you to pretty much do is use a location. So when you arrive at a certain location, the reminder will pop up on your lock screen on your iPhone 13 mini. So let's say for an example, you go to the grocery store and then once you arrive to that location where the grocery store is, your reminder will pop up on your lock screen so that you get to be be reminded about your food list of what you need to order uh, when you are in, at the food store. So that's one of my favorite ways to use reminders in iOS, in iOS 15. Saving links with Siri is just a really neat feature in iOS 15. So what this allows you to pretty much do, if you find a uh, an article that you're reading in Safari, you can actually tell Siri to remind you to read this later if you want to read it later. So you can use uh, Apple Reminders as a read it later application. And it's really cool the way how Siri works when you get to tell it, hey Dingus, remind me to read this article at let's say 6 p.m. and it will save that article in your reminders app and then it will remind you at 6 p.m. so that you don't forget what you want to read. So another neat feature and the last feature of this video of how to get the most out of Apple reminders in iOS 15 is this neat feature called subtask. So subtask is a really, really neat feature that allows you to pretty much add more reminders inside a reminder. So think of it as an inception. So you can add a reminder and then down below you can add another subtask to, uh, to that reminder so that you don't forget something that you need to get done with that reminder. So it's a really cool little neat feature right there that many people don't know that Apple, what you could do with Apple reminders. So that's pretty much it for uh, what you could do on Apple Reminders in iOS 15 on your iPhone 13 mini. If you guys did enjoy this video, it will mean the world to me if you guys would hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, because that not only does that help the video as well, but it helps the channel as well to grow. And also, if you guys want to see more Apple tips and all that stuff, you know, comment below what you guys want to see, like the video, subscribe, and as always, I will see you guys later. Peace.